Aloha and welcome. This is Reading and Vocabulary, Day 43. Ten words about travel. The number one is noun, train. Pronoun, it. Verb, board. We arrived at the train station and boarded the train to Sapa. Number two, noun, ticket. Pronoun, it. Verb, purchase. I bought a ticket for the train journey to Sapa. Number three. Noun is cabin. Pronoun, it. Verb, reserve. We reserved a cabin for a comfortable overnight journey. Number four, luggage, that's noun. <clears throat> Pronoun it, verb is pack. We packed our luggage with all the essentials for the trip. Number five, scenery. The pronoun it, verb admire. As the train chugged along, we admire the breathtaking scenery. Number six noun is sleeper. Pronoun it, <clears throat> verb sleep. We had a sleeper compartment where we could sleep comfortably. Number seven, meal. Pronoun it, verb enjoy. During the journey, we enjoyed a delicious meal on the train. Number nine, arrival. Pronoun it, verb await. We were excitedly awaiting our arrival in Sapa. Number nine, announcement. Pronoun it, verb listen to. We listened to the announcement for updates and information. Number 10, noun. Adventure. Pronoun it, verb embark on. Our train journey to Sapa was the beginning of a wonderful adventure. I then put these in summary, the summary of the 10 words, <clears throat> train, a mode of transportation on tracks, ticket, a document that grants entry or passage to a specific journey. Number three, cabin, a private compartment on a train for passengers. Number four, luggage, bags or suitcases containing personal belongings. Number five. Scenery, the natural or man-made views along a journey. Number six, sleeper, a sleeping compartment or bed on a train. Number seven, meal, food served during a journey or trip. Number eight, arrival, reaching the destination or endpoint of a journey. Number nine, announcement a formal spoken message or notification. And number 10, adventure. An exciting and daring experience or journey. We have a multiple choice quiz. Number one, what do you do when you board a train? You buy a ticket. Number two, what document do you need to purchase before a train journey? B, ticket. Three, where can you sleep on a train? Num B, cabin. Number four, what do you pack in your luggage for a journey? That answer is actually D, all the above. Number five, what can you admire during a train journey? Scenery, of course. And number six, what do you enjoy during the train journey? Conversation. 
Number seven, what are you awaiting during a train journey? Arrival, B. What do you listen to on, a, on the train? C, announcements. Number nine, what do you embark on during a train journey? Adventure. And number 10, where can you reserve a cabin for a train journey? At the train station. I also translate this to Vietnamese. You see the words here. You can pause the video. Of course, here's the 10 words in review. And then our short story. This is episode six, Train Tracks and Dreams, a journey of two boys and their mother to Sapa. Was a tale that unfolded in Saigon, Vietnam. Two brothers, Min and Dong, and their mother, Mai, were about to embark on a journey to Sapa from Hanoi. Their journey begins in the heart of Saigon where they boarded a train to Hanoi, but the real adventure was to start from there. The Victoria Express train, known for its luxury, was to be their carriage to Sapa. It was more than a train. It was a moving palace with four berth cabins, air conditioning, individual reading lights, oversized windows that painted moving pictures of Vietnam's breathtaking landscape. Mai, their mother, was on a mission. This trip was not just for sightseeing. It was a journey to the past, to their roots, their ancestors. She wanted to teach Min and Dong about their rich Vietnamese culture, show them the importance of respect, and the grace of good manners. As the train choo-chooed along the tracks, Mai began weaving stories of their ancestors. She told them about the people who lived in the small houses they saw through the train windows, and about the hard-working farmers tending to the green fields, and about the majestic mountains that were witness to their ancestors' lives. Upon reaching Sapa, a town unlike anything they'd seen before, Mai showed them how to stay, say hello in the local dialect, how to, pre, how to pay respect to the elders, and introduce them to rituals that were generations old. Look around, Men and Dong, Mai would say. This is who we are. Our ancestors were kind, hardworking, respectful, just like the people here. They've created this beautiful land and we must carry forward their legacy. After a memorable week in Sapa, they returned to Hanoi on the Victoria Express, their hearts filled with newfound respect for their culture, their ancestors, and themselves. The moral of the story, understanding our past helps us appreciate our present and shapes our future. We learn valuable lessons and values from our ancestors and it's our responsibility to carry them forward. Train Tracks and Dreams, a journey of two boys and their mother to Sapa was not just a trip, but a journey into the heart of of their heritage. And finally, you will see that I have this somewhat translated to Vietnamese. You may pause and read. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking time to review this. If you have any questions, send me a message. Otherwise, have a great day. Aloha.